All right. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a few courses that I had taken when I was getting started with ARVR. And uh, two of the courses that you see in this video are completely free, but two of the other ones are uh, paid. So the first one, uh, the first course is the introduction to augmented reality and AR code by the Google ARVR team. Uh, it's uh, the platform that they have used is Coursera. So a little bit about this course. Uh, this course talks about mostly about the terminologies that have been used uh, that, that are very much in use in ARVR, uh, the common terms that are used, and as well as obviously the um, the, tech, uh, the the applications that are that can be created with this uh, with this technology and how it can be useful for uh, sectors like shopping and retail, business, social media, gaming, education, healthcare, nonprofits, all that. And then also like they get and then they get started with the terminologies in uh, defining each of the each of each of those concepts uh, with all these different uh, you know mm, videos and explanation and whatnot like a lot of examples are there what i really liked about this video uh, this course is that uh, for each concept uh, they they explain the concept and then they show an a good example of it uh, with their own phones all right so and then again yeah uh, they also get into technical uh, constraints that are used uh, that, that are there in augmented reality as well as you know uh, as soon as you create any augmented reality experience with uh, uh, in, in, in Unity or anything, and then you launch it in your phone, uh, your phone starts heating up really bad. So it's just how it is. That's the technical constraint that they talk about. It's just uh, something that is worth um, noting because AR has a lot of technical constraints. Okay, so the next thing is um, the quizzes that I would like to talk about. So the quizzes are structured in a way that you are able to retain the knowledge that you studied in that particular module so let's say if um, if you're in week two and you studied all these different concepts you know tracking in AR, context awareness uh, inside out tracking motion tracking all these are really important concepts by the way uh, if you learn all that and then you get into the quiz part the quiz part will just test those concepts yeah whether you have understood it or not or like examples and all um, just tell me whether this is AR, uh, this is anchors what are anchors or what are what is inside out tracking and whatnot and then obviously there's a final assessment which uh, you can do as well then you can uh, yeah how light affects ar on mobile technical limitations preparing your tools and yeah the cloud anchors part for shared augmented reality experiences a very interesting topic i kind of liked it because um, it enables you as well as another user of your augmented reality experience to uh, connect with each other as in what so let's say if you place an object in your surrounding, the other person, the other user who's using that augmented reality app on his phone will also be able to see that uh, virtual object through his phone. And I'm not sure if you completely understood that because the way they explain it in the course, it's using all these animations and all these uh, different uh, you know, examples in uh, videos so that it makes it easier for you to understand. So that's why I'm recommending this course to everyone. All right, so obviously then there is creating uh, surface detection, creating planes and all that. Uh, occlusion is a great example. Occlusion, by the way, it's very limited in uh, AR core, um, Google AR core, because in Android phones, they have a particular, uh, I don't know what's it called. I think Occlusion, they released it last year. Yeah, last year. I think in early last year, they released that AR core depth camera or what, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting the name of it. So let me just check the, yeah. Yeah, so the AR code depth API, this is what it does. Uh, yeah, this is occlusion. So let's say in the first video, the cat, it's not really occluded. What does that mean? It's not uh, appearing behind an object that is placed in front of it. Uh, so the object that, so you see the real object that is there, that's the bed, it's bed or a sofa, or I'm not sure what it is exactly, but behind, uh, but in the first video, the cat is, it looks as though it's virtual. I mean, it's breaking the immersion. But in the second video, the cat is behind uh, the sofa. So that's occlusion. And uh, it's possible through uh, depth, the, depth, the depth API. Uh, by the way, a depth API is not available on all phones. Uh, if you go to supported devices over here, you'll notice that uh, they have all these different phones that have depth API. So the ones that have the, the phones that have depth API, um, you can do occlusion with it. Otherwise, you cannot do occlusion. Um, yeah. So the phones, the, the phones that they have explicitly mentioned that it supports depth API, those are the phones that you should be 
targeting if you want to get started into uh, started with augmented reality. All right. So even my phone does not support uh, occlusion yet. So anyway, uh, next thing is, by the way, Google Poly. Now this course is a bit obsolete. So this what is Poly part? Um, Google Poly is now deprecated. I think not deprecated. It's it's not available anymore. So if I go to Google Poly, let me just check. So Google Poly is actually uh, not there anymore. Uh, earlier it was obviously there. So if you notice here, um, Google is shutting down Google Poly. It's 3D object platform. This was second second December. Yeah. So obviously it it uh, it was just a website that was created by Google for users to browse, distribute, and download 3D objects. And the, the objects that were there, the 3D models, they were very lightweight. So uh, you know it was very ARVR friendly. I would say. Okay, so that's not available now, but uh, it was available a few year, two two years ago. I think it was available. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on and um, scene form for easier AR content creation. Even scene form is deprecated, by the way. So I would say uh, when you take this course, it's kind of theoretical. Do not uh, get into the practical side of it because so even though they get into the what is Unity part, they don't really show you how to get started with um, you know AR core in Unity. All right. So and also like scene form for easier AI concentration that's deprecated. It's not uh, available anymore. So let me see, it's available but it's deprecated. Let me, let me show you. So if you look, uh, scene form SDK for Android was open source and archived. So it's not receiving any more updates. But uh, even if you try it out, probably it will work. But when I tried it out, it wasn't working. Earlier, obviously, it was working fine, but now it doesn't work. So yeah, that's it. Yeah, so this is a pretty good course to at least get started with the concepts and understanding uh, the theoretical aspects of AI, augmented reality specifically. All right, so the next video, the next course that uh, I'm going to talk about is the how to build AR VR app specialization by uh, Unity. Unity is a game engine that is used to create games as well as augmented reality and virtual reality experiences. All right, so in this course, uh, this is rather a specialization. So it has actually three courses. That you see over here: Introduction to XR, VR, AR, and MR Foundations, Mobile VR, AR, uh, Mobile VR App Development with Unity, Handheld AR App Development with Unity. Now, the problem with this course is uh, when, even when I was taking it, um, the first course, this course is pretty much okay because uh, they are just diving into the basics of, uh, you know, like how things are there. I mean, what is, how does, um, like they're just uh, getting you to know about AR, VR. In general, as in uh, a few of the apps, they they do a, like a case study of Pokemon Go, and uh, they they tell you what's the difference between augmented reality and virtual reality. They go over safety concern, concerns in AR and all that. Now, the first course is pretty much good, uh, pretty much fine, all right. But uh, even mobile VR app development with Unity, it's kind of obsolete now. I mean, I'm not sure if the things that they tell you to do in the video uh, in the course. Uh, if you start doing that, you you'll probably face some or the other issue when you are developing. Uh, so in this module, they get into the practical side of things. Uh, they explain how is Unity uh, used to create augmented reality and virtual reality apps. So in this module, they'll obviously get into the mobile VR part. Uh, and uh, the problem with it is that it's kind of old. And uh, if you you know what a common issue that you can face is that let's say they want you to check a checkbox. You want they want you to check a checkbox to let's say enable Google Cardboard augmented reality, uh, Google Cardboard VR uh, in Unity. Uh, that option might not even be visible or available in your uh, current version of Unity. So yeah, that's that's pretty much a problem, and that is why I it's I won't recommend you to take the whole uh, specialization, this whole specialization, like all these three courses, uh, due to the reason that I just mentioned. But the first one is pretty much okay. Um, the second one is also fine, but again, uh, if if you do not want to get into the you know the practical side of things, then it's fine. I mean, these things are at least once you see it also, once you um, at least understand how things are done. Yeah, like basic teleportation and yeah, like basic uh, teleportation and reticles and recasting. All these are really important concepts in virtual reality. So the way they implement it, um, you can use that same logic in. Uh, different places so back when I was doing the course I was able to get through the course because um, so I was able to complete the course because at, during that time uh, 
whatever technologies that were that they mentioned whatever options that they mentioned whatever settings and you know um, the code and everything everything was working fine the project as well but um, now i'm not sure if it will work or not right because it's been a few years i mean i think two years I, i took this course two years ago so yeah but still um, it has a lot of things that can be useful for you to at least understand at uh, on a theoretical level right and then again uh, you have the vr ux with unity api this part is uh, you may choose to go with this or you can do something else as well that i'll mention later in the video there's another course that has come out so it kind of is uh, more so that is more like you know new and more recent rather than this one it's kind of updated also so i would recommend you to go over that uh, to go into that course for it the third part is this uh, handheld ar app development with unity and it has the same issue as mobile vr app development with unity uh, the code and everything that's again it has become obsolete and um, yeah so you kind of you may or may not face this uh, the issues that i talked about earlier you know like there's an option missing or something in unity because just because it has been updated and all that yeah so yeah that's the second course that i do or do not recommend this is up to you if you want to take it uh, you can just take it i only i would only recommend you to just go through the videos like you're watching a movie or something but don't really you don't really need to do the practical things because it's uh, you know you'll face issues and you'll just get stuck for uh, hours and hours you'll just be stuck on some issue for days but uh, there's no one to really help you and all so yeah that's why i won't I recommend you to get into the practical side with this course because again yeah that's kind of uh, kind of uh, not it's not updated right but uh, if you want to just understand it theoretically and just want to watch the videos that's completely fine uh, then you can go through that just see the process and everything just understand the process behind creating an any ar vr app and that uh, that is fine all right so let's get started with uh, this particular course how to design for ar vr course this is by interaction design foundation they are a platform they they have courses that are related to ux design uh, user experience design if you know what that is so they get into the nitty gritty of understanding how to design for ar vr all right um they use storytelling experience imagineering improvisation these are really important concepts when you dive into uh, designing any kind of ar vr experience all right so although they say that uh, this course will appeal to ux designers interaction designers unity developers 3d developers so so they say this right they um, ux designers interaction designers 3d ui designers all these different uh, uh, you know roles that are there in the industry they can all take that up now i am a unity developer so i thought i should have taken this course and i took it and it was lovely all right okay so one thing to mention here again is this is also very theoretical it's more like you need to just go through the uh, lectures just listen to them rather than doing anything about it you just need to just listen to it rather than uh, doing anything practical so there's no unity over here all right um they don't get into the unity side of things they are mostly talking about the design aspects obviously and they don't even have any design tools by the way like they do not get into things like um, f- um blender or how to get started with unity and um uh, design tools like tbody uh, tbody is a uh, if you don't know about tbody uh so tbody is uh, an animation and prototyping software for vr ar and they don't even use this i mean they just mention it probably somewhere in the video uh, but uh, somewhere in in one lesson they probably mention it very loosely but they do not get into you know how to create the vr ar prototypes with this uh with this tool tbody and it's a very useful tool by the way if uh, i haven't used it yet but uh, i know a few designers who have used tbody because i mainly concentrate on the development side of things uh but yeah if i get a chance i'll definitely try out tbody uh, i haven't got a chance to try it out it's i think it's only available in quest 2 but i'm not sure yeah so let's get back to the courses i'll have to do another you know video on tbody rather than getting into it right now but it's really interesting to see what uh, what is possible in vr using this particular tool it's it's great all right let's get back yeah and these things like how to wireframe 3d interactions these are really useful you know uh, they give you a uh, good pdfs that you can download and you can use it completely for your own projects uh, where you can create your user persona you can create uh, these different uh, wireframe interactions as well as to you can note down things and 
yeah, basically things are very useful for, they, they give you resources that are really useful for your own projects. So by the way, if you are going through this course, uh, the by, by Interaction Design Foundation, I recommend you to download this particular uh, Chrome extension, the Video Speed Controller, all right? This uh, particular Chrome extension, yeah. So what this does is that uh, it enables uh, kind of, you know, uh, you can basically control speed uh, using a Chrome extension. They they overlay this kind of option on your video, and then if you click on plus, the speed increases. Click on minus, the uh, the speed decreases. So I remember I watched the whole uh, all the lessons mostly in uh, 1.5 to 2x speed because uh, I felt it was going very slow. So that's why you know like 58 minutes one whole lecture, and uh, you just see the person talking. I mean the lecturer, but obviously like uh, a lot of things that they mention are very useful for at least from design perspective so that is why i recommend taking this course this course is a must buy by the way if if you want to understand the design aspects of ar vr it's it's great and it has a lot of different examples like social vr and stuff uh it's pretty much you know yeah i'll highly recommend this to you the only uh one issue with this is that uh, you can't buy only this course i think if you click on start course now you'll have to get into an annual uh, plan right yeah, so if you click on start course, you'll see that uh, you only have two options, the professional and design league. You cannot take one course completely for free or something. You'll have to use the whole, uh, you'll have to get a get an annual membership. And it shows 700 rupees. That means it's kind of close to $10 or so uh, if you, yeah, if you convert it to dollars, yeah. And the design league is 14,000 rupees. That means twice off whatever is in professional thing, yeah. Um, so what I did was when I was uh, studying from International Design Foundation, I was a student, uh, so a full-time student. So it came close to 550 rupees. And uh, yeah, you can, uh, the only limitation then is that uh, you can only take up to two courses at a time. So that was a kind of a pain. But yeah, I was able to learn a lot in just one year. So that's fine. Okay, so let's get back. Um, it's... So again, Interaction Design Foundation, this course, highly recommend. All right, now let's get to this course. All right, Build 15 Augmented Reality Apps with Unity and before. Now this is a great course, by the way, because as you can see, there are 16,000 students already and it has a 4.5-ish rating. So I, I took this course when I was, um, uh, you know, when I was learning AR. And yes, this is particularly a practical course that I would say. And start getting started with Bufuria is pretty easy because Bufuria is itself um, you know, an augmented reality SDK that is used in conjunction with Unity, and they get into the depth of it, like how to use Wuforia in Unity, and they even tell, uh, the the course instructor also talks to you about basics of Unity. So again, yeah, highly recommend this course. And they also uh, you also create all these different apps, and um, I'm not sure about uh, cylindrical object tra tracking, Wuforia cloud recognition, and view mark. These so the thing is that um, you can at least get started with it, all right. Um, and super imposition based augmented reality. So yeah, it's called, uh, I just call it marker based augmented reality. It's pretty much the same thing. So yeah, this course is highly recommended. I would just say to go with it. I mean, once you just get started with it, you'll be able to create everything. I mean, you'll be able to create augmented, a basic augmented reality app and pretty much like, um, I don't know, in two, in, in a week or so, if you give proper, you know, proper attention to this course, you'll be able to create any augmented reality app in just two days or so, or not two days, I'm sorry. Uh, within two weeks, you should be able to create some sort of an augmented reality app. Yeah. Yeah. So highly recommended this course.